welcome everybody, I am Mr. Llama, and today I am going to be bringing you a game PvZ between our blue Protoss player, Axel, and our red Zerg player, Crooked. So, Axel and Crooked, I believe, are both Masters players, and the map today is going to be Shakira's Plateau. I don't know too much about this game, I haven't watched or anything like that, but the replay name is PVZ LOLOLOLOL. So I'm hoping that it is a funny game or has some little quirks in it or something like that. So right at the start here we do see Axel is going to go ahead and start off with a pile in there. Probably going for a Forge FFE or just straight up Nexus FFE. I know he does like to throw down that Nexus first before the Forge. Uh, especially on Shakira's Plateau. I have seen that in his previous games. So, um, look for that. In the meantime, our Red Zerg player is going to be sending out a drone here at, uh, four, at 13 there, and he's going to go ahead and scout for any pylons, anything like that. So he's not going for a 14 hatch, it looks like. Instead, he is just going to use that as a scouting drone. Sometimes players will like to hide a drone back here or something like that so that when this probe right here runs up the ramp They can just come out here drop that expansion and get a 14 hatch out against the Protoss without getting pylon blocked Our red zerg though is dropping down his gas. I believe it was a fifth or, or his spawning pool Sorry, I believe it was a 15 spawning pool and he is not getting any gas So it does look like he may be going for a gas gasless expand or something else of that nature and in the meantime Axel as I predicted is dropping down that forge first and Crooked is going to go ahead and scout this so Crooked right now gonna go ahead and send a few lings out here to try and deal with this probe try and not try and get this hatchery down before lings even come out and yes he is able to do that so some great micro right there and he was able to uh, force that probe out just enough that he would be able to get his hatch down. In the meantime, we do have the a few Zerglings starting right now. No queen yet, despite the spine pool being up. So a little bit of a blunder, I believe, there from our player Crooked, as that extra larva is very useful to have in the early game, and missing a queen by a little bit can be troublesome. And there we go. He does get the queen, but he is supply blocked. So once again, a couple blunders. He is going to have this probe, though, being followed by this drone, making sure he sees where it goes so that no pylon can drop down there. Uh, okay, and he is going to go ahead and throw a pylon down anyways. And we'll see if the Zerg does something. Yes, he's going to go ahead and send a Ling to attack that. In the meantime, we did have that other Ling come over here, but he was forced away as there is a cannon going up. There is a gateway and a forge. Once again, it looks like this is kind of an interesting wall-in right here. I'm not sure if he's going to actually block it off. I believe the last game he had trouble blocking it off and actually left a gap in it. So somewhere right around here uh, behind a cybernetics core. But he does have this where he will probably place a zealot down. So we'll, we'll have to watch for that and see if he can finish off that wall. In the meantime, he does have his uh, second hatch up, our Zerg player, and he does have a queen out. He's going to go ahead and use that for a creep tumor at the start here, instead of getting extra larva. And once again, he is supply blocked and does not have an overlord on the way. But he does have his third up right, or third already over halfway done, so he's going to go ahead and take that really early third, third base, probably took it around 24 supply, I'd say, and is going to try and drone up there, get some good macro going instead of doing some sort of two base all in. In the meantime, Axel does throw down the Cybernex core, and I'm not sure if that is a gap or not. This is a very interesting wall in, the double pylon right there. It looks very susceptible to Baneling bus, um, but I, I trust that Axel is a Masters player and does know what he's doing, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that he does have some sort of experience with this wall or he believes that it works uh, in the meantime there is the two gas going down three gas actually for Axel and he is mining out of all three of those gases right now so he does have good production or good gas there so he's going to tech into something 
uh, probably. That's what we shall be looking for in the future. He does have his plus one on the way, so already getting some good upgrades off of that. Uh, Crooked does have a couple spine crawlers going down here, just good for protection. And he is throwing down his first two gases just now. So waiting past the seven minute mark, or just around the seven minute mark to throw down his first couple gases. He does have this queen here, no inject yet. Uh, looks like he is a little bit behind right now on that but it looks like he's gonna go ahead and get in his gas and I'm interested to see what he tech what tech path he is going to pursue in the meantime we do have Axel still ahead in harvesters though 43 over 35 so eight minutes in only 35 drones that's probably due to the few supply blocks and once again a few overlords popping right here a couple popping from there so it looked like he was supply blocked once again so that has just been hurting our red zerg player crooked a lot. Uh, we do have warp gate finishing just now. We do have four gates and a robotics facility down on the map right now, I believe. Unless there is a hidden building, but I don't see it. So four gate robo right now, and he is starting uh, his armor upgrade now. So he does have that plus one. If we look back, there is an immortal also coming out of this robotics facility for Axel. In the meantime, a Roachworn is going down for our Red Zerg. I'm not quite sure where that is right now. There it is. So in between his main and his natural there. And he is going to start producing units, getting metabolic boost uh, right there. So Ling Speed and a few Roaches. Uh, just going to go ahead and get that in preparation for something as there is a small engagement up here yes and so there is going to be the zealots take out the spine crawler and they will just clean up those links as they do have the plus one attack so that makes it so each zealot can two shot a ling instead of taking three shots so that minimizes the number of attacks by a lot and it's very uh difficult for lings especially without speed to deal with zealots if they the zealots have a plus one on them so not too big of losses taken there by Crooked. He was able to defend that pretty well. Axel just making sure to put a little bit of pressure on though. Uh, and once again, another Immortal coming out. He does finally have this Observer, so he's going to go ahead and send that into his opponent's base. Uh, get a better idea of what exactly is going on. We do have a Lair now, and Double Evolution Chamber going down here at the 10.30 mark. And he is going to start double upgrades for his Roach and possibly Hydra. If he decides to get the, get it, though Hydra is not too common in ZVP, um, it, it, it is not unheard of. So he still only is harvesting from those four gases, uh, so he hasn't even set up two more gases yet for at his third, so it's not likely that we're going to see any sort of muta play or anything like that. He does throw down an infestation pit here, that's possibly just to go up to Hive Tech, um, as you would probably like to be getting those gases right there we do see axel though right now moving out and he has a lot of sentries there five six sentries almost full energy so that is a lot of force fields 50, 50 yeah so he's got at least like 20 force fields there but he is just going to kind of use that as a fake pressure to kill that ling right there and then expand take his third uh we do not see a fourth yet going down for our red zerg here, Crooked. However, we do have um, him getting Burrow and Pathogen Gland, so he is going to be using that Infestor play. And here we go, he does finally start producing a couple Infestors. In the meantime, we do have Blink almost finishing up. Just 10 more seconds right there until Blink finishes for our Protoss player, Axel. So we'll see what kind of abuse he's going to do with that. Possibly use the Blink with that, that Observer to blink up onto a ledge. We do say fourth going down right now for our Crooked player. Um, and this wall in right here with a couple gateways, always good to have uh, to prevent any Zergling run bys. And that really traps the Zerg. He's gonna go ahead and throw in a couple more cannons right there. And that really uh, cuts off the number of paths that the Zerg, Zerg can take to run around you. As that is one of Zerg's strengths, strengths? is to do a quick run by uh, while you are t attacking somewhere like taking a path down here or something like that the zergs can just run their links up into your nexus but here he has two gates with those cans back there that is going to make it extremely difficult so our zerg player right now 
is kind of gathering his forces. He does have three infestors out on the field, I believe. Let's see if he has any more. Yep. So only three infestors, 38 lings, and 19 roaches. So not too big of an army. In the meantime, we do have Axel, who does have high Templars, and he does have the uh, Size Storm finishing up here in five seconds. So Axel with a lot of upgrades here. Uh, Blink, he's got Storm, he's got his 1-1. One, one. And he's getting a robotics bay and moving into double robo play here. So he is definitely just going to go ahead and abuse all of this, uh, all of the tech here, except for uh, no Stargate yet, but possibly we'll see carriers or something in the, in the future. Uh, in the meantime, we do have Crooked coming down here to check for this third, even though he already has checked for it. So possibly just leaving Lings in there for a quick run by in case Axel does make some sort of move. Axel also does have Warp Prism that just have come out. Yes, so he does have Warp Prism here, but it is on path to run right by these units. So these units are going to see the Warp Prism. In the meantime, we do have Drops, actually. Uh, I'm sorry I missed that, but Crooked actually picked up Drop Play. So he does not have any units loaded in these Overlords. I'm not sure if that was a mistake and if he meant to do that. But these uh, two Drops... Are these overlords with drop and the warp prism are going to run right next to each other. Unfortunately, there's no units there, so maybe he was going to put those lings. And actually, he does put those lings into these other overlords over here. And he's going to go ahead and drop, but it is not going to do near enough damage. As Axel is going to warp in some zealots, and he's going to get a good contact here. So Crooked is just going to load up right there. In the meantime, we do have a push coming down from the front. Here, Crooked trying to do a little bit of damage while Axel is distracted, but he is just going to have to fall back I would assume as yes there is the whole protest arm right there and Axel did not pull back to deal with those drops so Axel just gonna regain his composure here gonna go ahead and send his probe stack to mining and Axel did have yes he did have warp prism right there but it looks like that was defended off or Axel did not even drop because these infestors are full energy here and they're just standing waiting around for this warp prism to come in the meantime we do have a warp prism up here coming around and Axel gonna go ahead and take this top base at the 12 o'clock pos position here, throw down a few cannons for defense, and he does have those rocks as well. He does have this war prison that he opens up here, and Axel's going to go ahead and let five zealots come into this mix right now. He's just going to go in there, take out some drones. And it does not look like our Zerg player has seen this yet, as he has not reacted. Finally, he is reacting here. A few drones are already gone. And Axel does have this other warp prism coming around the back here, but it does not have anything to do right now. The Zealots are not going to do too much damage here, but in the meantime, we do have Axel coming up the middle here while all of the forces are gone, stuck in that main right there. So he's going to snipe a few overlords, go and take out a few creep tumors in the meantime. And now we have our Zerg player actually getting back into the middle, Axel realizing that there was not enough time to catch him off guard there, so he is just going to back up to this watchtower. This force is almost done in the meantime. And our Zerg player... Oh, that was not his mana. I'm very sorry. That was actually his fourth that was being attacked. So he is finally going to start getting back into uh, mining at this fourth base right here. The Warp Prism has left temporarily. However, there was a Warp Prism drop right here. And these drones are going to go ahead and get attacked. And he's going to pick off... Uh, I'm sure he picked off a couple drones there with that geyser, but does not look like he picked off too much in the meantime There is another drop going on back here, and this time he warps in DTs. I'm sorry I missed the DT shrine There is also a greater spire going down right now But bigger things to worry about is there are DTs sitting here hacking away at this hatchery So they're going to be, need to be fun growth, and yes there are there are fun growth right there to reveal these units But he has not he revealed all of the units yet, and the hive is about to go down if he does not Get this last high temp. Oh, and he leaves the Dark Templar right there. He had the fungals on these two investors to snipe it, but he was unable to do so. So loses that. That is a huge blunder for our Zerg player right there. Just poor, poor keeping. And he's going to lose the Greater Spire as well. It looks like, yes, he does. He is able to cancel it, save himself a few minerals. But that is no matter as we do see that he is loaded on minerals. Axel warping in more Dark Templar. And these Dark Templar are just having the time of their lives running around hacking away whatever they want to. And Crooked GG's out of the game. Still at 185 supply. All of his units still around. But he is just really tired of losing all of his structures. He has no overlords anywhere around.
one that he he can morph there's one that he should have morphed so axel wins with just some basic dt harass and that my friends is the power of warp prisms use them as they are very effective and if you can bring dts into that back there if the zerg does not have any spore crawlers or spine crawlers that he is in a lot of trouble as we just saw a hive a great aspire and soon to be roach warren almost sniped so gg well done axel great harass nice hold on your bases there and uh mr llama out